Hey guys, AI Addict here. Welcome to today's Tesla full self-driving experience. In this video, we are in version 10.2 and heading up Hicks Road in San Jose up to the top of Mount Umanum. Many of you viewers have requested this road in the past, so here we are. If there are any other locations you'd like to see in the future, feel free to drop a comment down below. This video will be a little different than our usual stress test as this will be a single lane mountain road for the most bit, but I assure you it still has some very interesting clips. We will encounter winding roads, a wild deer, cutting yellow lines, oncoming trucks, and more. There are a few timestamps in the description below to help your viewing experience. I also fast forward some clips by times two if you wish to slow them down manually to see every bit. Now, on to the video. Gets us out just fine. Now we're turning on to what will be the mountain road, and from here on, it mostly is a one way road however it is a mountain road okay. So far the system's doing a really, really good job up through here. Some little switchbacks. Slowing down with a good speed to the turn, taking the apex. So right up here is going to be a little bit of a fork. We're going to have to fork to the left to stay on this road. Um, there's some turkeys actually in front of us. Hello little turkeys. And the car turns its blinker on and takes the left fork. So this is the part where the road starts to get a little bit more narrow, um, less industrialized, less upkept. And the more up the hill we go, the less maintained the road will become. So it still has the speedometer set to 30. Um, yeah, you could go 30, but I mean, I'm a little nervous with the system. I probably set to 25. But I'm gonna see how it handles 30 for the beginning part. Slowing down nice and not, it's slowing down good for this turn. Yeah, this feels really nice. Turn its blinker on to go left here. Um, we're staying on the same road. Not sure why the blinker's on. I'll flag that. Okay, so I hit the brakes once it saw that oncoming car. Really quickly, they'll let off those brakes. Um, just doing what it does, I guess. That's pretty typical of what a human driver would do, I would say. Yeah. Switch 
Heidi, what do you think so far? This is your first time in a full self-driving car. What, what, what are your opinions so far? I feel safer than when you're driving a manually. Really? Yeah. I'm just that crazy. <laughs> 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 well, thank you for your feedback, Heidi. Let's see how the car reacts. All right, see the stop sign. And it just proceeds. I love that. It's doing a really good job at managing the speed it needs to take these turns out. I think it's all these people too. Yeah, it also so. sees these people. Always gets really caution precautious when it sees people. Looks like we found the skid pad. <laughs> Okay, so this is a very hairpin turn and the car slows down very very well handles it exactly as a human should overall impressed by a long shot with the system right now on this back roads as um you've been evident i am very particular at my stress tests i do with this software as my last one in downtown san jose nearly went into a pole um if i had not taken over but um, wow, it's like a day and night difference up here in these back roads, up here in the mountain. I mean, this is a very sufficient system in this application. Oh look, there's a deer. Let's see how the car reacts with this deer right here. It's slowing down. It thinks the deer is a motorcycle. It's actually very interesting. It thinks it's a motorcycle. That's so cute. I guess my I guess my Tesla doesn't know what a deer is. <laughs> that was cute. Oh, it didn't recognize the turkeys either. Yeah. Apparently a uh, deer or motorcycles, I'd love to ride one. <laughs> Now here we have a very, very tight switchback, pretty much a U-turn. See how the car does? It's kind of going in the oncoming lane, a good amount, but not too bad. I mean, I figured, I bet most people would do that with how narrow that lane was. Okay, I was scared. I almost, had to, I thought I was gonna have to take over there, but it made that turn instead of that car. I was, made my heart pump a little bit, but the Tesla did it.
So this is a long sweeping blind turn and the car does a really good job at bringing the speed down and just going through it while checking itself as it goes. I really like that, that's what a human would do. I'm also noticing that it's giving some good treatment to these bushes um, right back there. It's uh, not getting close to these bushes. Which, as you guys know, in my San Francisco video with Beta 9, um, we went right into a bush, scratched the side of my car. A lot of people wrote articles about that, actually, which I was surprised to see. But, uh, yeah, it's doing a good and fair treatment of staying away from the bushes on this version. All right, so we're turning right at the stop sign, and we're going to continue up the mountain. Um, this is where we get kind of into the military roads they used to have. Um, I'm not sure if they've maintained them. Back when you come up in high school, they were very much not maintained whatsoever, big potholes. But now uh, a beneficiary came in and opened this up as a public preserve. So as it seems, they've repaved the road, and it seems quite beautiful up here. Let's see how well the Tesla does. Oh, whoa, well, went, went a bit wide there. It looked like it, on the screen there was an ATV or something that shot. We'll have to go back and look up. at that. YouTube, comment down below if that's what you saw as well. I've got a bunch of motorcycles here. hear my panic in my voice there. <laughs> Tesla did great though. Okay, it's going very oncoming traffic right there. Cross the yellow line. I would I do not like that. That was not nice for me. But um I wonder if it just thought that would be the best line to take. I just couldn't tell if there was an oncoming car or not. It came a little close to the edge there. Yeah. I mean, these roads are getting skinnier and skinnier as we go up, so there's less room for the Tesla to really find space. But um, it's doing a really good job with the space it has and the speeds it's choosing to go. Okay, here we come to a biker and a turn that we can't see across, around, I should say. Let's see how the Tesla does. And the Tesla proceeds around the biker. Yeah, that was nice. That was very nice. It stopped and even waited to, you know, scan the area, see what was going on. I appreciate that. And there's the tower we're going to right up there on the mountain. We're going all the way up over there. We still have a good way to go. Battery? Yeah, we're at 17%. Most people will be scared, but I know how regen works. So we'll get a lot of it back on the way down, I bet. There's no supercharger up here, unfortunately. <laughs> so, but we'll make do. You generate some energy when you're going downhill? Oh, yeah, I'll regen all of my energy going downhill. Like at least 90, 95%, wow. depending on how much heat so is wasted through yeah through energy the will create friction and there will be obviously lots of energy through heat coming really on coming across the line here again I'm kind of nervous but luckily there's no vehicles up here
And now we've arrived to the parking lot where I'm gonna begin my hike. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I know it wasn't no our normal videos of extreme stress test, but that was a very interesting video going up all that mountain. I've been scared to do that route for many months. Many of you guys have been requesting it, but here you are. I've uploaded it, you've seen it. Um, if you want to support us, make sure to check out our Patreon. Um, you can also find us on Twitter and uh, we'll see you next time. Feel free to like and subscribe because that's uh, how we know we're doing a good job. We'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.